Hello again, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back to the battlefield. This is Call to Arms, and we're taking command of that. That is a hind ground attack helicopter, which we're going to be decimating enemy forces that failed to retake this runway here today. And I'm throwing in a bonus mission today. We're also going to be taking command of a T-80 U main battle tank in a defense of a large town somewhere here in the Middle East. We're playing as the Global Revolutionary Movement, which is a uh, resistance group that is fighting against government forces here as both the Americans and the UAF are trying to retake the airfield and secure the region. We can't let them do that, so let's go ahead and fire up the main engine here and chase them down. Go ahead and fire up that like button if you'd like to see more of this content. Go ahead and hit that like button. That's your chance to vote for more World War II, more modern combat, more military on the channel versus other things, so make sure you go ahead and make your vote and your voice heard here on the channel. I'm happy to oblige. Let's go ahead and deliver some missiles here for the enemies. All right, we got a 25 millimeter already firing off on that uh, light transport. And it looks like that uh, striker there was uh, destroyed. Over to our left, I see a LAV-25, and it looks like uh, some light transports there as well. All right, supply truck down. Another supply truck hit. MGS in front of us. Rolled it. And another LAV-25 down. Fantastic. Let's circle around. That transport's a little too close for our rockets. Let's get these ones, though. And another vehicle disabled. Fantastic. Infantry's running around at random. And I don't see anything else that the Americans might have. Wait, AT-ATs are down there. I see the enemy has some AT-ATs. Oh, boy. All right, beautiful. Another light transport destroyed. And a night... Uh, oh, wow, a little uh, transport there that we just basically decimated in two seconds. Fantastic. Good job, guys. All right, 25 millimeter. We can take first-person command... Of all of these vehicles, as you can see, I can fire all these weapons in first-person mode or third-person mode. And uh, if you want to download Call to Arms, you can go ahead and pick that one up for free. If you want to play the multiplayer. Wow. And vehicles are not just available in multiplayer or single-player, but in both. So if you'd like to, uh, you know, destroy your enemies, or your friends, I should say, your frenemies' uh, tanks with a helicopter, you're more than welcome to do that. And additionally, you can also uh, play the missions and co-op and all sorts of different things. So the multiplayer is free. You can upgrade to the Deluxe Edition if you're curious. Just go ahead and check Steam, and uh, you can upgrade to play both campaigns for the United States and for the GRM forces, with Germany coming very soon, too. So a lot of cool additions coming to this game. They've put in some nice work, so it's, it's good to see. Good variety here. I'm going to go ahead and land at the airfield, and uh, we're going to go ahead and resupply now. Looks like basically only infantry left, and we can't pick off every single individual soldier. Uh, we were mostly in it for destroying uh, supply and uh, any sort of uh, stragglers from the assault that they failed on taking this position. So we're going to go ahead and uh, let that helicopter resupply for a couple of seconds. I'm also going to make sure he's on hold fire. I don't want that 25 millimeter to fire off in the second part of the mission where we're about to assault an enemy base. Let's go ahead and take a look. And then at the uh, battlefield that we uh, just basically blew everything up on. Nice hits on the roadway. Beautiful. Very cool explosions. Very nice uh, carcasses of vehicles left behind. Very nice. And it looks like our helicopter is locked and loaded and ready to go again. The remaining infantry will retreat then to the north where across this uh, little river or uh, little, I guess, oasis is where they uh, will be regrouping at a large railway center. So not only do we destroy their forces, but we're also returning to base to resupply. And our n task now is to attack and destroy all hostile forces here. Huge supply depot. We see M60s, BMP3s, BMP2s. Anything with a 25 millimeter or higher is probably a top priority because anything that comes through that canopy is going to instack one and done us. So let's go ahead and take a look at the facility just to kind of get a feel for it now. Looks like a lot of vehicles parked around, things on trains. Top priorities then would be the AC uh, V15 IFV, which is a Turkish I believe uh, infantry transport with a very nice auto cannon on it, and uh, those are not very nice for helicopters, at least. All right, well, the perfect target to attack with a tank is they don't really, or with a helicopter, flying tank, really, is they don't really have any way to defend themselves aside from that. So let's go ahead, and uh, what I'm going to do here is uh, fire off the rest of our rockets, and I'm going to ask for a resupply again from these guys once we come back that way, so it's reloaded once we get to our objective. All right, now hopefully the uh, pilot here and the uh, gunner don't uh, switch jobs and fire on the enemy units. I want to only engage them from a long distance with the 130mm 9M114 Kukon. They also have a 25mm that we had been firing and also the 80mm S8D uh, rockets, which are very good high explosive rockets that can take out most vehicles, but probably not these. Let's go ahead and stay a good distance away from the base and take a look at what targets we may be engaging here today. Looks like a fairly long distance to engage supply trucks. We see infantry gathered there. 
and uh, some more vehicles have got to be around such as that and I think that might actually be out of range so let's go ahead and find something a little bit more within our uh, our, our range budget there we go let's start destroying BMP 2s that are tr uh, on the train here but more importantly some of these vehicles in the back might also uh, might also start getting occupied by the uh, tank crews so let's go ahead and uh, let's just lean over a little bit and start shooting ready here we go oh beautiful direct hit on one of those vehicles all right we want to wreck all these vehicles right away okay good they won't be able to use those and let's go ahead and see if we can hit the front of this BMP3 nice alright we've alerted their infantry for sure let's go ahead and see if we can hit that barrel oh nice beautiful supply is going up like crazy explosive barrels being hit oh beautiful 25 millimeter just devastating the enemy Probably good that we targeted some of those heavier pieces of equipment first. Let's switch back to our AT. See if anything's moving around. No, it looks like we did a pretty good job of clearing this side out. Can be dangerous if we approach closer. We have to keep our distance. Look at that vehicle. Doesn't like us. It's trying to target us. Now let's fire one missile. Beautiful hit on that. Blowing the top off of it. Excellent. Alright. Oh, and I see infantry running for possible uh, vehicle... Uh, possibly getting to a vehicle. Infantry somehow taking cover back there. Let's blow up their fuel supply. Oh, looks like that's not working. Let's switch to these. That's better. Oh, accidentally switched to anti-tank rockets on that one. Accidentally used the missiles instead of the uh, rockets. Oh, good. We hit that regardless. Very nice. Okay, well, while those reload, we can fl fling around to the back side of the facility. And you can see already the devastation from a long distance. Casey Kasem would call that a long-distance dedication. I call that a long-distance devastation. And I apologize for the horribleness of that joke. All right, let's go ahead and uh, make sure all these vehicles are down. We see tank crews trying to get to their vehicles, but let's stop them. The guy's lucky behind a tree. Let's go ahead and switch over to the missiles. They're almost reloaded. Tanks actually being destroyed by that. I'm surprised. I thought you'd need an ATGM or better. Let's fly over to the left a little bit. Some of these buildings are just simply in the way. <laughs> there we go. That's better. All right, I'm not convinced that that tank is destroyed, so let's give them one into the side just to make sure. That'll do it. Perfect. 21 rockets remaining. We want to stay far away. Far, far away. One shell will take our whole chopper down, so we don't want to get anywhere near the enemy. You can see that some of these vehicles are crewed now. So let's go ahead and fire at them. Beautiful explosions. More infantry running towards cover or to crew vehicles. Very nice. Okay, I think we've pretty much devastated most of what they have here. Let's take a look for any other rockets. Or opportunities to use them. Oh, I see a small vehicle here. Wait a minute. Is it... I think that's actually already destroyed. It's somewhat transparent, so it means we already hit it with a missile from before. A lot of infantry here, but the targets are the tanks. Such as that and this. Actually, we hit that one before. Let's make sure, though. That looks like it's pretty much devastated there. Alright, let's do a fly through of the base. Let them have it. Trying to pretty much hit anything that's infantry or supply. Alright, welcome back. It is now time for us to command a T-80U main battle tank from our successful mission of destroying the enemy supply depots. They're still going to attack our position here with a lot of armor. We're probably going to see a lot of M60s, BMPs, and probably more of those ACV-15s and possibly tow weapons as well. Or, uh, well, basically ATGMs from either the... Uh, Oh boy. Well, actually, looks like we're seeing a lot of tanks to start with. So I guess we'll worry about tows later as they come in. So, uh, looks like in this mission you can command not only T-62 there, which just got absolutely demolished, but also you can take command of a T-80 BV and also a T-80U, which we'll be taking command of now. So, we should have one of the biggest tanks on the field. That should be pretty good. Looks like our tank crews are uh, rolling out to battle now. Looks like they're moving into position, and we should have a spearhead. I think we're taking uh, command of the lead tank, so let's get to it. 
So uh, there are missions, by the way, for the Americans, too. If you'd like to command a Abrams or a Bradley, you can uh, assault an airfield with the uh, mechanized forces there. We're going to try to devastate the forces rolling up to us right now. We have a 125mm gun with the T-80U, and uh, armor-piercing rounds are definitely well welcomed, as they're going to be way better than anything else. Let's go ahead and fire at this first beautiful... Oh, look at that, on fire as well. Wonderful. Or maybe that's the carcass behind it, I'm not sure. Let's go ahead and engage the second tank. T Our M60s are not something we want to uh, engage with uh, from the flank. They can definitely devastate us. And uh, we're firing at these tanks now. First one's already on fire back there. That's nice. Looks like they've created a whole column of armor coming in. The uh, UAF forces. Beautiful. Enemy tank destroyed there. We're going to hold for about 11 minutes. And we're working with our allies to disable their armor and also devastate the tank crews. Looks like you can even see tank crews running away. Another tank down there. And if we press O, we can go into a thermal sight mode. Oh, and that's what I was looking for, the toes. Not good. ATGMs, anti-tank guided missiles on top of that vehicle. Let's go ahead and engage there. Boom! Devastated. Fantastic. Lots of fire, lots of smoke. All right, good. Let's prioritize armored vehicles first. We'll worry about tank crews later. BMP-2. Ooh, got baited, son. I got jabated right there. Did you see that? He flanked a little bit and avoided my shell. Crazy. Just with a little turn. All right, another TM60 down. I keep trying to say T60, but it's a whole different thing altogether. M60 is coming in now. Lots more. And it looks like we even have our own ATGMs going out. A nice hit on the turret, and it, the crew is bailing. Very good. Oh, it looks like a oh, BMP3 sitting right there. Let's go ahead and reload and take him down. Nice. All right, he's at least turreted. Wow, look at that. Enemy armor devastated from a long distance here. You can see all their burning crews. Looks like uh, one of our own tanks got a little ambitious and went out there got tracked. Oh, AT-AT -AT over there, some sort of a, uh, oh, wow, it's tipping over a tree. That is incredible. What an armored unit. Incredible. All right, looks like more enemy forces are coming in, and it looks like friendly forces are pushing up. I would not want to do that. That would probably more than likely lead to a flank of our vehicle, so we should just stay back, stay alive, just like with snow plows. If you're from the Midwest, you know exactly what I'm talking about, so just keep her in the, keep her in the back and uh, let, the, uh, let the armor do a work. Oh, that was a big explosion. That was awesome. This guy's saying, eat fire and die. Yes, wow, that's very rude, sir. How about just shoot him? Whoa, what's going on out there? Wow, our friendly vehicles are pushing through the carcasses of enemy tanks, making it nearly impossible for us to hit some of their vehicles as they're just pushing everything all over. Look at the amount of destruction there. That, this is even better than the uh, helicopter missions, I must say. All right, let's hit this tank again. Looks like we lost a friendly tank, but given the fact that we've destroyed an essentially huge number of enemy armored pieces, I'm not going to fret too much. Definitely don't want that ATGM shooting at me. More M60s here. Looks like a T62 crew is bailed there. They're defending their tank. M60 there has been turreted. Fantastic. I'm going to just stay put. And it looks like we have enemy infantry, so let's open up. Oh, wait, that's friendly. Well, how did we get a tank all the way up there? Maybe it's that tank there that they were bailing from? Well, regardless, not one step back. Oh, and that tank's been destroyed as well. Is that enemy? It is, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna shoot. Let, let him go. Let him go. All right, looks like we got a BMP-3 here, a T-62, and another uh, either T-80U or BV. It looks like a BV to me. I believe we have the ability to fire. Yes, we do actually have uh, ATGMs that we can fire now. So next missile that I fire is going to be an ATGM. Wonderful. Look at that. It actually follows uh, along. So that's very nice. If you turn your turret, it follows right along. Very good. ATGMs are pretty fun to fire. Anti-tank guide to missile the reflex. Nice. Another enemy vehicle destroyed. Oh, this is way more enjoyable. And that's what makes the T-80U so deadly. It has the ability to fire ATGMs. It fires them actually out the main barrel, which is really impressive. Lowers the cost of the vehicle. I think we hit that one. Oh, no, we didn't. I thought he stopped moving. All right, we got another enemy tank there. Lots of enemy tanks. I don't want those ATGMs getting anywhere near us, but let's hit this tank. Boom, right in the nose. That knocked him out. Another M60 there on the left side and the right. And also that ATG. That's what I want. I don't want him shooting at me. Take that out first. All right, very good. Let's keep firing these missiles until we run out. These are really fun to fire. Very powerful in multiplayer as well. If you can uh, get around and uh, behind an enemy and shoot them off, they're pretty much an insta-kill so long as you actually land the hit. Think of it as the golden gun, except you got to stand a little more still than you'd like to to fire it. Enemy tank there is not really moving, so let's move to him. I 
I don't see him. Okay, uh, let's see. I don't... There's some enemy vehicles around somewhere. Is that it there? Oh, multiple vehicles on the right side. Oh, boy. All right, let's fire. Beautiful. That was awesome. Reflex is a hell of a missile. Oh, they're going... Oh, okay. They're firing their own missiles. Oh, nice. Destroyed. All right, another enemy tank hit. Those uh, missiles, by the way, should do an absolutely amazing amount of damage. It should be un un unmatched, really. Oh, apparently some got in front. Oh, the, the ground. Well, that's interesting. My gun's way above the ground. All right, let's see if we can hit more tanks. Is that another target? Oh, right there. Beautiful. All right, let's switch uh, ammo types. I think, uh, well, we'll fire one more as it's reloading. Actually, we only have two two or three rounds after this, so let's just keep shooting. We'll switch to a different uh, ammo type. We've destroyed so many pieces of enemy equipment. Now, I believe the situation is that they're attacking in waves because of their limited fuel. They're trying not to uh, fully attack. I think this might be another enemy vehicle that's not destroyed. And now it is. Very good. All right, back to the 125 millimeter APF SDS. And, uh... Looks like another enemy tank has been either repaired or has arrived. Nice shot there. I hear smoking. I hope that's not us. This is a non-smoking tank. Oh, nice. I may have main gunned him. Oh, and it looks like more tanks coming in. Really, in this era, in if this takes place in modern times, let's say 2017 or 2018 or a few years before or a few years after, it's still the M60 is an interesting choice for them to have as a tank. Uh, the UAF forces also get access to the Abrams, so we may actually see that in use very shortly. Those are top priority vehicles to destroy. Those have missiles on them. You've seen how devastating missiles can be. Beautiful. Huge amount of uh, destruction. Oh, American tanks coming in. American tanks have been sighted. Oh, now I wish I would have saved those ATGMs. Alright, now we're going to see American armor. Wow, and a lot of uh, BMPs coming in. We still got 30 rounds. I'm gonna hold my uh, hold my position. Oh, damn! Another one of those ATGMs. Oh, and he's he's too low for our gun. I can't I can't fire on him. Otherwise, it'll hit the dirt. Oh, BMP. Yeah, as you can see, it hits the dirt rather easily. Oh, there's the American tank. Abrams spotted. I don't know if those are just um, if those are American crewmen or if they just meant more American armor, modern armor. Ooh, nice. Good hit to the Abrams, but no destruction. Alright, we're gonna have to fear that weapon. Looks like he happened to fire one ATGMs. Ooh. Wow, they get to turn on a dime. There's where we're trying to hit the driver port right there. Our gun depression is depressing. Oh boy. I'm gonna pull back a bit. I wanna wait for them to come up over the hill. Perfect. That's what we're looking to hit. Beautiful. Whoa, 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 sir, sir, whoa, whoa, the rug burn. Whoa. That's going to be some road rash. American tank toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Oh, hello. Yeah, you sure did, didn't you? Main gun and turret damaged. All right, de destroy American tanks complete. Oh, our tank is uh, operational again. Looks like an insta-repaired. Okay, that's nice for a tank mission like this. We did lose, uh, we lost pretty much everyone in our tank from that hit. Aside from the uh, gunner and commander at this point. Hopefully that was the worst of the enemy tanks we'll see. Well, considering the amount of vehicles that we destroyed, not too bad. I think we're playing on normal as well, so that's pretty good. What is that? Whoa. Who's shooting? Switch to thermal. Don't know if the... I don't think it was that tank that was engaging. Uh, something's hitting us with ATGMs. BMP-2 on the left. Possible vehicle there firing. Looks like it's smoking. Low profile on the BMP-2. I can't hit it. Four ATGMs on that thing. There we go. Nice! Wow, the moment he came up over the top, it was all over. Fantastic. Well, rip to our uh, three crewmen who died. The commander, driver, and uh, Pat... What was zero passengers? Never mind, it was just a four crewed tank. I don't think we had any passengers with us on this run.
But regardless, with the amount of tanks that these guys have destroyed, incredible. Abrams are destroyed. Looks like a vehicle's coming in from the left. What is it? Change our position. Where is he? Somebody must have popped him. Look at all that destruction out there, though. That is really amazing. Okay, it looks like we might have a target out there. Where is he exactly? He's on the other side of these buildings. Oh, yeah. Someone just shot through one of the houses. Oh, boy. More targets. Oh, that's a big boy. That is a uh, T-80... Oh, boy. They got their own T-80U. Or uh, BV. Okay, I can't even see... Oh, wow. A lot of vehicles coming in now. This is some of their heaviest armor. Nice. Tank destroyed there. Good side hit. Now, you'll notice while we're moving, our tank turret can't fire or turn because uh, if somebody's driving, then somebody also can't be uh, loading at the same time. That tank is down. Let's hold right here. Let's not give up an inch. Beautiful. Another M60 destroyed, it looked like. Looks like just a couple more vehicles this direction. We only have the gunner and the changer now. What the... Driver, gunner, commander, and chain... Charger? Charger? What the... You mean maybe like turret guy or something? I don't know what the... He I've never heard that term before. Okay, we can't fire our gun yet either. We need more crew, but this is all we get for now with our two losses. Oh, boy. Oh, almost sniped. Uh, ATGMs would probably be worthless against those tanks, too, as they have reactive armor. Oh, boy, that's a lot of equipment coming our way. Beautiful BMP getting hit. That's good. Now we just have to worry about tank-on-tank -tank violence. To which, boy, these guys are really asking for it. This one's presenting, although it's on the other side of a tree. Boom. T6, M60 down. I'm going to keep saying T60. <laughs> it's all right. You know what I mean. M60. Oh, whoa, friendly tank there. Friendly tank. Well, that didn't show up until the... Oh, that's kind of stupid. In front of it is an allied tank, so I don't know why it showed the enemy tank first. Maybe it's just a carcass. Let's go up and uh, see if we can eliminate the remaining vehicles. That, that one's done. We're getting shot at from the front. Nice, turreted on that vehicle. Just got to keep reversing. Oh, beautiful ATGM troopers. Or AT troopers. I think that tank's been disabled. Alright. Let's see if we have... Uh, any other targets. I can see some smoke. At this point, I want to move a little bit more cautiously. The tank battle, much more intricate than the... Uh, than the uh, helicopter battle, for sure. Seems like we may have fired over the top of the uh, BMP. There we go. Wow, the gun depression on that is still hitting the top. These guys may track us. Oh. Alright, I don't, I don't want to play with that. Nope. Looks like he changed target and stopped in a horrible area. Wow. We're lucky on that one. Destroying that tank in one shot. Or did we? Should be on fire. Put a shell right through the uh, engine block. Two shells. I will right, come back to him. Where's the other one? Looks like a M60 here. Oh, the gun depression is horrible. Let's try to hit this tank again. Huh. All right, we'll hop out with some TNT and get rid of him. I hear smoking. Oh, hello. Somebody caught fire finally. Good. And we're we're smoking too, but probably our main gun from all these hot kills we've been getting. Oh, we got to go up a little bit. I see uh, one enemy soldier remaining on the mini-map and then one tank which looks to be double tracked so this is probably the best way to engage him. Don't want to go anywhere near him. Let's just hit him in the turret and then we'll flank him. Three shells remaining. What a crazy battle. There we go.
Resist enemy attacks. All complete. Good. Great job. You repelled their attack. Now we must strike fast and eliminate their reserve flank forces before they can reorganize. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. So we're going on a full attack here today. Counterattack. Do we still... Do we have our crew? Oh, good. We have a full crew. Beautiful. Now we get to attack. Let's engage thermal. Okay, so we know we can attack out there. Well, this would be good for multiplayer. We got a... Uh, oh, we only have one shell left, though. We got recruited, but we do need to resupply. There we go. Let's just park here for a second. And I see we can't really look around. So I think we'll just have to wait until we get to about 30 rounds or so. So this will just take a second. Actually, we can just speed up the game. If you press backspace and do that, it just makes everything way easier. Should have thought about that during the hell. Oh, goodbye. Was that a Ferrari or what? Destroy enemy defensive armor positions. All right, well, don't want to do that. If they have armor, we got to wait until we get to, like, 20 rounds or something. Are, are we out here? Supply? I only have 14 rounds. Five is down. Well, let me uh, pull out and go back in. Huh. All right, well, we only have 14 rounds, so let's slow down time and... Get into the battle. If we need to, we'll just commandeer a friendly tank or something. Oh, there's more supply here. It should be an unlimited supply zone. 14 rounds. Maybe that one just... Maybe we simply ran out of supply there. No, it looks like we can only get 14 rounds. All right. Well, we started with like 30, so... Maybe we're short on supply. Enemy infantrymen there, hopefully. Hope that's not friendly. Oh boy. Alright, our tanks are getting hit as we're counterattacking. Hopefully we don't see any enemy uh, AT troopers. Guy standing up, hilarious. I think that's a new Fortnite dance right there. That's called the derp. So these guys might have AT rockets on them, so I'm not even gonna, not even gonna risk that. Let's go le uh, right side now. Somehow we changed to uh, I don't know how we changed to the AT missile. But that was a damn good mistake. Wow. Alright, that tank's been disabled. That's good. That's a friendly tank there that got wiped out. Oh, T-60 knocked out too, or a T-62. BMP-2 right here has been disabled. Beautiful, second Abrams. Look like a second Abrams. Or is it the same one? We just hit it twice. Oh, really? Alright, we're just going to use the reflex missiles. Beautiful. Okay, let's hit these tanks from here. Well, that looked like it went through the driver port that time. Oh, enemy tank there. Getting a red light on those, though. Oh, it seems that we're hitting the fence, that's why. Oh, I don't want that. Nope. Oh, he's out of missiles. Okay. There we go. That was a good shot through the side of the wall. All 
I'm gonna just stay back and engage these enemy tanks. Seems we get a constant swell of reinforcements on us. That's good. Trying to angle our armor correctly. There's some ATGMs, or AT troopers. Possibly ATGMs in there. There are ATGMs in the game. So, that's something to be concerned about. Enemy tank rolling by. Looks like he stopped. And the T. Oh, we're on fire. Alright, bail, boys. Looks like one of our guys made it out. Keep Colonel Abu's armor operational. Well, it seems to be more of a, a scenario of uh, Ramirez do everything, where it's like we have only one tank that's good enough to recapture this area. I don't even think these are. Are these Eastern, or Eastern Orthodox? Not. Okay. Well, whatever. Well, regardless, we got a lot more armor to sweep through and uh, a lot more uh, tanks to destroy. So if you want to see more of this campaign, this one's just a minor inconvenience. We just reload from the thing, but I've had enough of it for now. Pretty fun, though, I've got to say. And, uh, ooh, looks like a constant swell of enemy reinforcements as well. Now they should just let you have another tank until you complete the mission. I don't think we need to keep uh, Abu alive. I mean, although he is my favorite character from the lab. All right, anyway, that's it for now, guys. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Take care of yourselves. Thanks for dropping a like to see more of the content, and I will see you all next time. If you guys are enjoying Cult Arms, make sure you download it for the multiplayer, and uh, we'll kick some butt in a match one day. Pretty good mission, and uh, I enjoyed it. So I'll see you all next time. Thanks, everyone, for your support, and have a great day. Bye.